Hey everyone, welcome back to Of Ash and Dust. I'm back in Blighttown. I saved you the torture of having to watch me go through this place. I looked at the chart of what connects to what, and apparently this is supposed to connect to fucking Sense Fortress, which is something I like really don't remember. Uh, I don't think I have the Sense Fortress gravestone or whatever unlocked. Oh shit. So instead, I'm just gonna go through this place normally. Um, maybe not like 500 enemies chasing us, but yeah, this is the one. Fuck, apparently I do have this unlocked. I like legit don't remember. Oh shit. Well, cool. I'm a dumbass. It's all good. That This run back, second time around, it wasn't so bad. I was less like, I don't know. I ran past everything is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, today we're going to go into the wonderful world of Islith, which mm, I guess we'll see if they can salvage anything out of this area. It's going to be interesting to see. It's going to be interesting. One thing I also looked up, because I don't want to torture myself running around, is where Quailana is. Apparently you need... Uh, apparently she's in here, but you need some item. I didn't look up how you get the item, but you need some item to be able to see her. So that's going to have to wait just a little bit longer. Shit, it's windy outside. Oh yeah, and yeah, they changed this area's kind of look. Hey, can we like stop having the shit stink effect now I think I'm safely out of oh whatever I am it's interesting that the blight town uh, third smell seeps through this much. Um. It's kind of a shame, isn't it? Anyways, we're gonna use this bonfire for motherfucking sure. Let's go talk to her. Uh, yeah, we don't have that. No humanity. I am curious. You know what? Oh, this is gonna betray the forest. Whatever. It don't matter. Because... Well, who cares? If Shiva attacks... Then I'm just gonna attack back, you know? I think this is only... Oh no, it's two slots. Um, I wanna keep... I actually don't need toxic mist so far we will need it later um, for Solaire what do you sell? key to Isolith, unlock the door oh shit, unlock the door to Isolith key that unlocks the massive stone gate that hides the fallen city of Isolith after Gwyn's failure to protect the city Isolith was locked shut for good with the key discarded, something Aingi surprisingly recovered there is a back entrance, however, however, it's guarded by horrifying demons and an ocean of endless lava. Been there, done that. Um, I will consider whether that's worth 50k souls. Oh, fuck, yeah, I remember this. Now it's the fire effect. Ugh. All right, then. Have it your way, game. Have it your way. It's like Burger King. Thank fuck this comes with the lava 
mod already pre-installed the lava texture I think even speaking of man let me tell you I don't even remember when I last had Burger. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I did have Burger King sometime. Like, well, sometime. That was like last year. Iron of Fire. Is that called Iron of Fire? Seriously. Iron of Flames. Okay. Summon a powerful flame from one soul. Twenty and ten. It's stat requirements are not to be fucked with. Yeah, I had Burger King last year. I specifically went there because they have that Rebel Whopper, you know? The one that has that impossible meat in it. Let me tell you. It really was indistinguishable from an actual Whopper. Which is pretty crazy. Hey, if that's the future, I'm down with that. If it tastes like meat, behaves like meat, and all the other things hey let's have it you know the thing is I know like if you don't know like the environmental impact of farming especially beef like industrial farming is pretty significant and I mean like surprisingly insane I'm really hoping that they didn't change this. I.e. you can still lure him and he will jump off. <laughs> Maybe he's gonna trip and that's on that Taurus demon. Alright, or or kick the Taurus demon off. Um So yeah, hey, if you got impossible meat I'm down with it. The only issue with it now is that it's just too expensive I mean to buy. You can buy impossible meat like a steak or something or like equivalent but it's just insanely expensive sorry ceaseless I know your backstory I kinda feel sorry for you but it's just kinda what it is Maybe we just put him out of his misery. Eye of Chaos, nice. Nice to nice to. And this should be the item that I'm gonna be able to now see Koilana with. So that gives you 21k souls. And I have consumables, so I could... Whatever. What does it say? Reveals the invisible daughter of chaos. It was once a daughter who fled Isolith and her siblings, becoming invisible to everyone else. Holding a fragment of her bloodline will make herself visible to the user as if they were a sibling themselves. Oh, that's like very... That's very heartwarming, isn't it? So I have 30k and you know what, I think, since I have three of these, fuck it, let's just make this easy on ourselves. Um, we have the key, so it cuts down most of the work, you know. This area is painful, and anything I can do to make it less painful is like very, very much appreciated. Plus, of course, Solaire, you know, which I guess we still have to go through the Centipede Demon. 
because you need to talk to Solaire after to advance his questline. Yep. Thank you for that. I think this should activate this elevator as well, right? If I remember correctly, the two are... Well, maybe not. That would be too cheap, right? I'll check out that other... Well, no, I can't check out that other pyromancy because I don't have the stats for it, do I? What up? Hey, do you notice that it kind of smells like shit in here? I like this NPC, I like her. Oh yeah. Cool. So you have Great Fireball. That's a nice spell. Firestorm, Fire Whip, Combustion, Great Combustion, Undead Report. Interestingly, she does not have anything new. Um, and of course, she can upgrade. I'm going to buy a couple of things. Great fireball for sure. That's a really good one. In fact, with that I don't even think I need Chaos Fireball. I'll come back here and ooh, that drains quite a lot. Yeah, great fireball is the shit. Great combustion too. And that's only 5k. Hey, 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 if you give me a bargain, I will take that. As you can see, I have wonderful inventory management, which you should come to expect from me. And then... Cool. Easy money. And now comes the hard part, which is going through the fucking demon ruins. It's actually not hard. It depends on how much they change this place. Uh, I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I did just hit R2 by accident. I'm gonna sacrifice one more humanity to get this other bonfire up to plus one or just whatever. You get, just get 10 Estus. And then we can like... How am I doing on time? Pretty early in. Like 13 minutes. Just needed to do a quick calculation. Stop jumping. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I was talking about... It's, re it's really gonna depend on how much they change this area. I can already see that Taurus demons are like the main enemy. Instead of Capra demons. Which I guess makes sense. Taurus demons are more interesting enemies. <clears throat> Excuse me. What a boy. Yeah. Sort of Artorius, right? I'm gonna have a bad time. You know what I was just reminded me uh, reminded of is that I didn't fight the gaping dragon in this playthrough so far because you need something special for like summoning him. 
which I haven't. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. I was. <laughs> yeah, stupid. I was hoping that uh, I'd be able to still stun him. Can't believe I died to a Taurus demon. Although, didn't I die to a Taurus demon? The Taurus demon, the boss version. I think I did die to him. Well, do we consider leaping off of the castle walls to your doom? Guys, it's really windy outside. Uh, defeated, really. I wasn't like knocked off or killed or anything. I, you know, did a Sudoku off of the ledge. As typical, you know. I talked about my contract, right? That. I'm contractually obliged to fall to my death once per playthrough. I mean, once per episode. Minimum. It's not always easy, you know. Finally, play this right. Yep. If I play this right, I should be able to like chain stun them. Yep. God, this constant HP drain is annoying. I wonder if the orange chart ring would offset this. Orange is like, it don't work. And now we have Mr. Capra. What am I doing? Because it just looks like these guys deal mad da Oh, okay. These guys just deal mad damage. Pretty sure these demon enemies did not deal this much. Or it could be I just have low HP. Yeah, I was gonna guess. If I had to put some money on it, I would have put that there is no bonfire there. That's exactly the case. Hopefully it's an e it's in an even better place. Or it could be that they just keep the bonfire game for this place. Hey, you're stuck. And you're gone. Yeah. This enemy. Now this enemy is a motherfucker. Don't know if you get hit by that acid. Uh, you can kiss your equipment goodbye. Whoa! Yeah, just do that. It's interesting that I'm having, for some reason, a tough time against these guys. Oh, what if it's like that other area? Or you need to kill the worm to spawn the bonfire. That would suck. Apparently this is a thing. I thought that only the... The fucking Binding of Isaac mod had the demon, centipede demon, there. But apparently that's in the vanilla game as well. That the demon centipede is just, or centipede demon is just like chilling there. Yeah, I legit did not know that that was a thing. Fuck off. It deals so much damage. No bonfire, no bonfire. 
That would have been a weird spot for a bonfire. Oh, there it is. Yeah, bonfire placements are a little bit more lenient. I will give him that. All you gotta work on, Mr. Sketchhead, is not die to this last Capra Demon. Congratulations, you didn't. Okay. Fuck! <sighs> okay, that... I'm pissed about that. Listen, am I gonna edit my out my shame? I'm going to edit out my shame. Um, I'll see you guys back in a second. Okay, here we go. I think we can pick it up from here. How long was that? Three minutes. Yeah, three minutes of shame. Silent run back shame. I'm not sure if this thing actually aggro's on you. I don't think so. So anyways, what I was trying to say is, first of all, I really don't want to kill the, kill this thing, having to kill or have to kill this thing. I'm gonna have to because he's gonna be like a nuisance. But let me just hit up the fire, super hot fire, you know. This is exactly what I was afraid of. It's not an insta-kill. God, these enemies are annoying. Good thing is you can... Oh, you have to be really careful with that. I'm gonna rest up. Oh, but shit, your items don't repair here. This isn't Dark Souls 2. Fuck. Maybe I'm just gonna leave that guy. Leave him alone. Do I have repair powder? I'd like to throw a couple of that over my head right about now. A couple of repair powders, but I have none. Ooh, shit. Soul fire ring. That sounds new. Super hot fire. Set a weapon on fire, reduces soul absorption. Holy shit. It's like the Gwyn thing. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. That's pretty cool. Especially since the fire effect actually looks nice. So technically I can just like skip this whole thing, right? I'm not gonna because I want the souls. Uh, but yeah. Technically. There's a gimmick. Should have expected it, honestly. My god, this guy doesn't take damage. Fuck that attack. Okay. Can you, like, not be stuck in the corner, please? Okay, it fires, like, in front of him. Thought it tracks you, but it doesn't. Should still be okay. Maybe I do need that plus five Artorias greatsword. I mean, I'm working on that. Safety heal. And you're dead. Too easy. So here's what we're gonna do. 
gonna see if there's a bonfire here. There isn't. All right then, I can take a hint. I guess we gotta go upstairs. I mean, this elevator should unlock, so... And I know, I'm playing with fire here. In fact, I'm really playing with fire. Um, run back to the bonfire. Type fire. Because... I'm about to burn to death. Hey, people trying to go for a no damage run, tackle this mod for me. I think there's a hard pass on that. This shit is impossible. I'm gonna check it out. I was gonna say, wonderful. I was gonna say fuck it to the items, but nah. And you know, I would attune my pyromancies, but here in this area, it's a little bit pointless, isn't it? Chaotic flint. What what are these for? That's, some, that's something I've not been able to like figure out. What the hell you need these flint things for? I can only think that it's some like weapon upgrade thing, but I guess I haven't tried going for a fire weapon or anything like that. What the hell is going on there? Which one of these is the Solaire Killer? I bet your ass it's none of them. And the, ch the quest line is changed. Oh no, no, there it is. <sighs> I was scared for a second. Okay, so something was doing damage to something else over there. Which kind of really makes me curious what the hell they did to this place. God, this area is ugly. <laughs> I know they, they improved the lighting, for sure. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Dark Souls 2 attack. The range on that is... Oh, shit. I only have five Estus. You know what, fuck you, eat shit. This guy's a pain in the ass to farm. Anyways. Man, he has a lot of HP. Like, super high defense, more like. But I only need to kill him once. I only need to kill him once. This is like hardcore concentration right here, what you're seeing. I should have mushed at the start. And I think about it. That would have been way better. Yeah, this guy's gonna be a pain in the ass. He just takes no damage. Which means what I have to do is... Um, I'm gonna have to bite the bullet. I mean, I'm like not lacking in... Okay. 
I'm thinking my because my dog is barking, but it's not her dinner time yet. But you know how dogs are. Oh, this is gonna be painful. This is gonna be harder than the fucking demon fire sage. Maybe it's worth attuning my spells and just spamming the shit out of them. Just to get some damage in. Yeah, like this. Go for the pure damage spells. And they're probably not gonna do a lot. But any damage, especially damage I can deal safely, relatively safely, counts. You know what, let's not. Let's not play with fire, you know. I'm taking constant damage anyways, so... Um... You know, I completely lost my, lost my train of thought. So let's not fuck around with potentially taking fall damage as well. Something is happening over here, like... Oh, they're battling. They're battling something. But it's like... It's strange. Okay, that's actually... That's actually okay damage. It's actually more damage than I was dealing with my weapon. Hey, hey. But he's dealing a lot of damage too. He don't fuck around, do he? It's like surprisingly nerve-wracking. Interestingly that this one never goes for the second combo. You know which one I'm talking about. There he goes. Actually, I'm out over time, right? I have some to cut out. Still, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Um, am I salty, you may be asking? And the answer to that is a resounding yes. I'm a little bit salty. Still, we got the tactic though, so all I have to do is execute it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, Dark Souls of Ash and Dust. Like, comment, and subscribe as always, turn on post notifications, take care, and peace out. Goodbye.